Folks, and welcome to Funk Friday on Paul Anderson Guitar Channel. Um, if you'd like any lessons or any more information, just uh, contact me on UltramiumGuitarSchool.com. So every week we're going to be doing um, little licks uh, with the idea of helping you build up vocabulary for soloing and playing funk. Today we're going to be doing a very cool George Benson lick, the one I've just played, um, and we're going to break it down. So first things first. We're in the F sharp minor pentatonic shape, starting on the A string, 9th fret. Okay, so this is 9, 12, 9, 10, 11, 9, 11, 10, so we shift up one fret, 12, 13, back one fret, 9, 12, and 14. Sometimes he's going to go out of this scale, and we'll explain that. So mostly I'm going to try and talk in terms of intervals, um, as in the steps of the scale, rather than um, just frets. Because if we learn the intervals, then we can transpose it to a different key. So if the first uh, riff is a pull-off from the root to the minor 7, and landing on the 5, then if we were, for example, in C minor, I find the root, and the 7, and the 5. And I can do the same lick. And then I can start developing my vocabulary. Don't forget the idea of this is to develop your vocabulary and not just to blindly imitate, okay? So for example, if we take this idea, if I was jamming it myself, manipulate it and trying to approach it from every single angle um, so that it just becomes part of what I play. So that line doesn't then just become a ripoff of George Benson but becomes part of my playing. Okay. Um, so um, if you're against the school of imitation and innovation, you have to remember that every single human being learns to speak by imitating and then through their own ability innovates and creates their own ideas and their own demands and their own, um, you know, so a baby goes from saying mama and food to going, I'd like ice cream rather than broccoli. Okay. So we use our own language to in innovate. And that's what we're doing here. We're picking up little ideas, putting them together with other ideas and innovating. So we're going to start pulling off from the root to the minor seven on the G string and landing on the third finger on the D string. Okay, then we go back up. So we've gone root seven, three, sorry, five, seven, one. Now we're going to slide to the nine on the B string. Now, um, this is the ninth fret, it's the, the second step in a, in a minor scale. If you were playing F sharp minor, it would be that note, okay? So, then we're going to pull off from the root again to the 7, back down to the 5, back up to the 7, back up to the root again. So we get slightly different rhythm from the first pull off. The first pull off was slow, and the second pull off is fast. I would advise doing it slow and making it groovy, you know, enjoy it slow. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to slide to the 5 and the minor 7, okay? So this is the 14th fret and the 12th fret on the B and E string. Now, I call this a ghost slide because we're not going, okay? We don't want to hear the notes beforehand. We're going to just go, okay? So then we have this. Then we finish this particular phrase with our middle, I put my middle finger back on the root on the G, so 11th fret, because I want to go here, 11, 12, 10, which would be root 4 minor 3rd. So 
So when you're learning solos, try and think in sentences and phrases. Um, where would the punctuation be if you had to write, if it was words, you know? Or, it's a slightly longer sentence. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run down from the root note, straight down the F sharp minor pentatonic. Okay, all together that is this. Okay, uh, mostly alternate picking, sometimes dragging it. So I'm going down, down, up, up, which is called economy picking. But I presume if you're learning George Benson, you might know a little bit about that already. Um, anyway, uh, so that's the first part of this riff, okay? Okay, so the second part of the groove, we're going to start on the minor 7, which is the ninth fret, up to the 11, which is the root, and then we're going to slide to the 11 on the B string, which is the major 3rd, okay? And then we're going to go back to our uh, root, uh, sorry, a fifth, seven. So we get this. We go back to our chord, sliding up to it, and then we're going to go from our minor third, four, sharp four, five, root, and then slide from the five to the four, and hit minor third, and then one. And again, the, the five to the four is not quite a ghost slide, because you, um, but it's nearly okay. So that whole riff goes like this.